Okay, next we'll tell you some fun facts about the F-104 Starfighter. Now, first of all, let's start with a fun fact which is absolutely wrong. In my humble opinion, and uh, I'm sure not Hans will totally agree with me, this airplane is usually called a widow maker. And it absolutely, this whole connotation makes me sick. Hans, well, it's please not explain. Simple, it's not true. Of course, there, there were accidents, but if you compare the, the safety ratio of the airplane with other airplanes from the same era, you will see that if you compare it with 10,000 flying hours, the 104 is much safer than, for instance, the F-84F and other airplanes. Yeah, totally. Another fun fact, the razor-sharp wing. Let me show you why. It slices through this piece of paper or any piece of plastic, whatever, as a knife into butter. Specially designed to let this airplane fly Mach 2 with ease. And look at it, amazingly sharp. One, one of the main secret features of the airplane uh, is this cone in the inlet. And if you see the pictures of the uh, 104 in the early days, it's blanked because it was a highly military secret. Why? Supersonic air came into the engine, it would stall on the compressor blades. Okay. So they had to slow down in one way or another, okay. the supersonic air into subsonic okay. to get it in the engine. And they did it with this complete invention. And what you do is simple uh, deflecting the air. Yeah. Okay, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. Of course, uh, we have some more fun facts. Did we talk about the connotation we don't like, Widowmaker? But there is one we do like. Hans, which was? Missile with a man in it. The missile with a man in it. And uh, many aviation enthusiasts, pilots, crew chiefs, anybody who knew the F-104 would sometimes say it's a missile with a man in it. Why? It's an extremely fast airplane. And there was a man in it to control everything. And the other nickname I like is the Italian, Spilone. Spilone, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm glad to say this. Hermie, catch your head. Okay, get over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, now I can say it. Now can I can say it. Yeah, here we are. Um, this was a record breaker as well. This airplane, the F-104, broke some records. Hans, one significant one, Could you, can you tell us? Uh, from zero to altitude in, ta in, in short period of time. Yeah. And another one is a fast airplane, and another one is the highest altitude. And, and the nice thing is, the 104 is the only airplane that uh, holds all the three records at the same time. In one flight, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it went from, from, from ground level to, to what altitude? Uh, 36,000 feet. 36,000 feet. Yeah. Jordan wastes no time. On the way up, he hits Mach 2.36, 1,600 ground speed, and also sets a world time to climb record for 30,000 meters. 15 minutes, 4 and 9 tenths seconds. Get this right. Okay, 36,000 in one minute. Then that altimeter, you can use Spitting. it as a cooling fan. It yep. goes like, <laughs> you know, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So that, that was one thing. And then the and fastest, then the, uh, the, the highest speed? Uh, Max, oh, yeah, highest altitude? The fastest uh, was at that, at that time uh, Mach 2.2. Yeah. And altitude to 102,000 feet. Yeah. And that was in a zoom climb. Hermon, so, you will never ever want to fly an MD-11 anymore. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> We're all dinosaurs. Our I days are over. Know, know, Our know, days know, are past. Okay. <laughs> These gentlemen are in the military. They are working for the Dutch Air Force's volunteers for the historical fighters of Volkel Air Force Base, also for the Dutch Starfighter Foundation. Now, the Dutch Starfighter Foundation has its own website, www.dutchstarfighterfoundation.com. Dutchstarfighterfoundation.com, which you can donate to to help them preserve this beautiful airplane and many others that they are restoring.